Money Moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a motherfucking movie. So we're going to get sh- jump straight into the topic today. We're going to be talking about how simple principles that nations use that American, modern American black man, a lot of us are still not getting. So today I want to talk about the term of no man left behind. You know what I'm saying? Hit the comments. Let me... Let me know what you guys think on this topic. No man left behind. What do you think I'm going to say before I say it? Um, What type of pointers can we learn from this? Uh, What do you know about no man left behind? But let's jump straight. Let's deep dive into this topic, though. Because we know that some American black men, a lot of American black men in this country cannot be saved you know we can't save everybody so a lot of us are going to be left behind and the guys who can't be saved you know you will leave them behind but when we say no man left behind I'm talking about Like, we know who the men are. We know who the guys out here who's struggling, who's actually trying. When they speak, you can tell that it's coming from a point of righteousness, even if they're not financially successful. Those are the guys that you give your information to, the best information you can give possible so they can level up. You know, we got to get out of this ideology of American black male killing American black male being selfish, keeping withholding knowledge. Let's share this knowledge no man no man left behind you know no worthy able body elderly young man or child that that is in need they will be attended to they will get my help if I got it and I'm like, man, this brother's a good brother right here, man. You know, we know who the good guys are. We know that this guy is actually at the store asking for change to feed his family, you know, or to eat. You know, for a fact, this kid ain't doing drugs. You know, for a fact, this old guy you know what I'm saying? This this, this old guy, he, he he needs a helping hand. Man, so, you know, we're not going to leave our brothers behind. And that, and, and that just, and that does not go just for the African-American race. Like, if I see anybody, like, no man left behind, that goes for anybody. You know, um, I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're Hispanic. I don't care if you're Indian. I don't care what you because it because at the end of the day, race doesn't matter. You know, but we do see the issues in our communities. We do see that 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 throughout everybody else in this country. Most American black men are still behind the eight ball. A lot, a, a, a lot of them do not have knowledge. You know what I'm saying? 
people are not educating each other in the community. And if they is, they're giving a, a lot of guys, a, a, a lot of these pookies and Ray Rays and guys who don't have any common sense, who think they street dudes, like you, you, you older, older dudes who ain't no good for nothing. You guys ain't no good for nothing. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, 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 you guys are, are the reason why the community is the way it is, you know? And you go off and, and give some information that you don't even know if it's accurate. You're just going off hearsay of something that you never did a day in your life. Ain't that insane? You know, and we know that we have to get rid of, we know that we have to get rid of these so-called thugs, these guys who run around our community thinking they can rob people, these old guys that I be seeing on YouTube and the parole board who be touching on little girls, underage girls, we need to get rid of you guys. You know, it say no man left behind, but only honorable man. No honorable man left behind. All the scumbags, the guys who robbing, you know what I'm saying? Every time I, I every every time I see T first 48, somebody killing somebody for $150 worth of marijuana. You guys make me sick, man. I hate you. You guys, like a lot of these so-called street dudes are bullies. They're bullies to the whole black community, and we need to start throwing dimes at them bitches. You know what I'm saying? All them guys who think they gang gang and all this, and you want to not value the people, we need to throw dimes. We need to X out, the X out these guys out of the black community because they're portraying a bad image for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Um, absolutely insane. You know, absolutely rhetorical. You know, no, it it do not make no sense about these guys out here want to be thug life. You know, ain't got no type of education, got ain't got no type of financial education, and you can't tell them nothing. So you know where they belong. They be, they, they don't be, they don't even belong in a federal penitentiary. They belong belong in a state that they reside in in a penitentiary, man. On oh, my gang. Because you want to know what? I got a gang to get rid of all the bad black men. You know what I'm saying? All the guys who out here scaring old people. You got girls. I'm going to get you. But I'm going to holler at you guys next time. Over and out. And remember, it's a motherfucking movie.